Hey there, Internet. So here I am at Slam Dance 2020 with this amazing filmmaker. Pilar Garcia Fernandez Sesma. And she is this awesome film, Margarita of the River. And it's all about sort of immigration and just the difficulty of getting into the U.S. and working hard for families. And it's a beautiful animated piece. Tell me a little bit about this. What inspired this piece? So um, Margarita is actually a really close family friend of mine. She also raised me and my brother in the because my parents worked uh, full time. So uh, she's sort of like a de facto grandmother for me since my, my parents themselves are immigrants from Spain. So my whole family lives abroad. Uh, so both me and my brother have a really close connection to her. And I really wanted to make a film for her just like to show not only like my love for her and have something of my art for her, but also I thought because of the climate that we're in now, we've been in for the past couple of decades, I thought it, it would also be helpful to bring awareness to issues and also humanize a lot of immigrants that are coming to this country. The animation in, is so beautiful. What what techniques did you use? It looks like watercolor or something. <laughs> yeah, so it's it's a mixture of stop motion like 2D paper puppets. So they have little gears in the back made out of wires so if you move them. Uh, and then also traditional methods. So there, there's a little bit of watercolor like texture backgrounds that I use, mm -hmm. and then I overlay some uh, color pencil textures, a little bit like color pencil line drawings, and the puppets themselves are colored with pen and prismic color markers, and then a little bit of chalk. So it's a short film. Uh, what is the duration, and how long did you spend working? <laughs> So, so the film is about four minutes long in total, uh, and I spent about four months doing it because it, it was a school project, but the way um, I knew that I was going to make two films for my school for my junior year, so uh, over the summer I actually interviewed Margaret. I had 45 minutes of interview about, uh, and yeah, then when great. I got uh, there in September, I decided to make that as my first film, so well, I edited it amazing. down for about four minutes of interview, so. and then fabricated all the that's puppets good. and spent the time animating and then it was due in December, so. Mm -hmm. um, excuse me, sir. We're, we're doing an interview. He's in his world. <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm really amazed how quick you were able to make that. Four months, four minutes, it's like one minute a month. I think that's way quicker than Pixar's <laughs> doing even with like 40 people doing all these different things. Um, what is next on the horizon? Uh, so I'm currently... Sir, we're trying to do an interview. Can you please go down there? Thanks. So I'm currently finishing my undergrad at RISD, so I'm in the middle of production for my thesis film, mm -hmm. which is nine minutes long. Oh, shoot. <laughs> nine months, right? Oh, I wish. Uh, I don't know how many months we have, but we started in September, and it's due uh, mid to late April. Mm -hmm. So it's like May. Mm -hmm. But it's a t like nine-ish minute long film. It's all... 2D animation, but there's gouache painted backgrounds, and then uh, like what is it? so it's it's like a kind of paint. So it's somewhere uh, in between watercolor and acrylic. I just started to think about squash. <laughs> squash, yeah. So it's um, so all the uh, backgrounds are hand painted, and then there's paint textures that I'm overlaying in After Effects. So I'm doing a little bit still compositing, mm -hmm. but it, it's not stop motion itself. Um, what made you want to do stop motion versus like going into a computer and trying to create it like that? Well, for Margarita of the River, it was more about, uh, I wanted to do it traditional just because the, uh, the, I like the texture of it and then the way she talks about Honduras and her life. Uh, it's, it's a lot about deserts and like warm climates uh, and with, like rich colors, so I thought it would be a better medium. And I did paper cutouts because it's a little bit faster. I know it seems like it wouldn't be, but it's a little bit faster than doing it all hand drawn because I really mm -hmm. wanted the color to be a big aspect of it. So I kind of did a little bit of a hybrid. What type of camera did you shoot on? Uh, so uh, the way that you do these kinds of things is it's a down shooter, so it's on a light box or something. So it's usually just like a Canon Nikon, like a type of camera, it's not super fancy. No, I mean, this is what people want to hear about, like the, how it's made and like the, 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 the technique. Um, so for people to find out about this film and find out more about their work, your work, where should they go? Uh, well, I'm on Instagram at Caterpillar Doodler, but Caterpillar spelled with one L. 
Uh, and then my Vimeo is Pilar GFS, or you can just find my full name, which is... I'll, I'll link to it in the <laughs> yeah. description below. Uh, it's, yeah, so I'm going to publicize it soon. It's currently private, but I'm, I'm going to put it public on the internet. Very cool. Is it going to screen at any other festivals coming up? Uh, it's about at the end of its run, so okay. none that I can remember mm -hmm. right now. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for yours. All right, so you heard it. You got to check out her film, Vimeo, Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you have any questions or any of the comments. Hit the notification button to stay up to date on the latest videos. And have a wonderful day.